Chinese herbal medicine, you're right, it is very deep. Um, it also comes in many different formats. Like I just told you about the raw tea. It comes in granules or powders. So you can make a tea. It, so the format's getting a little bit easier. And then even more easy than that would be, um, you know, taking capsules or mm. pills or tablets rather. Okay. Um, but Chinese herbal medicine can also encompass as food therapy. So taking everyday fruits, um, you know, certain type of beans, they represent different types of organs in the body, depending mm -hmm. on the color, it represents different elements of the body as well. So herbal medicine is as is as intense and potent and effective as making raw tea versus just eating everyday food as well as, you know, as, as therapy. Um, in terms of, you know, how I use Chinese herbal medicine, I always look at it as supplemental versus just treating a symptom because the way acupuncture and Chinese herbal medicine work is that when we come and make a diagnosis, right? We don't say, hey, you, you have neck pain? That's your official ICD-10 code. That's what they would say in the hospitals, you know, like that's your Western diagnosis, neck pain, or, you know, um, oh, you have kidney disease, which we would never say, you know, um, we would, we might say like, oh, you have like kidney deficiency. It has an entirely different meaning We because we always look at people as patterns and not so much as the word disease. Every human being has a certain set of patterns. And that is how Chinese medicine diagnose, um, you know, the, the everyday person. And to confirm the diagnosis, we don't have things like MRIs or x-rays, right? We, we learn to confirm the diagnosis through the tongue and also the pulse, okay? Mm. So with these two main ways of confirming and diagnosing tongue and pulse and also questioning, um, what happens then is that when we make you know, acupuncture prescriptions, so protocols, or when we form like um, Chinese herbal medicine, you know, uh, formulas for people, we always look back at the patterns. And then that's when we turn to well, what I would say classical formulas in the text, textbooks. And through those patterns, we then prescribe Chinese herbal medicine to help reverse these patterns, to help fix the body because the ultimate goal is always boiled down. It always boils down to having good health. It boils down to having good blood health. It boils down to feeling not and having good blood, blood health helps you feel more balanced, right? As an individual and also the herbal medicine or acupuncture helping with revitalizing, restoring your organs as well. So that if all the organs work in sync, then our body is balanced and functioning perfectly.